Seeing this is one thing. Is it also important to trust this? I say it's supremely important. Seeing it without trusting it is no good, really. I mean, it really is, I'm so glad you mentioned that, because it really is the practical business of shifting trust from little old Douglas. We put our faith in little old Douglas or little old Richard or whoever, and uh, uh, this is, is fatal. I, I really am absolutely deeply convinced that Douglas is designed to let me down. Douglas, the thing that Douglas as such does with reference to his own capacity and know-how and so on, lying on Douglas is, is, a, is a disaster, really. Sooner or later, it just is nonsense as a disaster. And what is done consciously from my center, by who I really am, by what I really am, I don't say it's perfect because it's out in the world and it's imperfect, but it's done incredibly better than Little Lower Douglas. The know-how of who one is at center is incredible, incredibly great compared with the, the imagined, fictitious know-how of that little one-year-old mirror. So the, the, the whole business, practical business of life is shifting trust from what you look like to what you are, from what you've been advertised to be to what you really, really, really are. In other words, um, it's a surrender to the will of God. To put it in other terms, it's surrender to, to of what you look like to what you are. From the little old will of old Douglas, stupid, that is stupid as he is to the will of the one. The know-how uh, at our center is fabulous. If you want to do anything well, I don't care what it is, as so long as it's halfway legal, perhaps I should add, whatever you want to do, if you want to do it better, you do it from the source. If you want to do it badly, you do it from the periphery. <laughs>